Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to a little tutorial today on how to install a repaint or a livery for your FSX Steam Edition DLC product. So we're going to do this a little bit different now. I've covered off the basics of how to install liveries before, but the way the DLC system for F6 Steam Edition works means that it, it's any aircraft that you buy directly through Steam Edition is handled slightly differently through the traditional sort of um, go to your F6, go to Sim Objects sort of uh, an airplanes folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at, we're going to get a repaint for the Alabeo Waco YMF5. Uh, we're going to get that today, so I'll show you that one first off. So this one is going to be coming from the wonderful guys over at uh, Aussie X. So it's a great website for all sorts of uh, FSX simulation stuff as well. And uh, the repaint we're going to be getting today is by a very prolific and excellent, excellent repainter, Jankies. Um, he's an absolutely amazing guy. He really is. Um, he's just does incredible work he really does so uh, yeah it's just ah uh, thank you to all for him for all the to you jankies for all the work that you do anyway enough of me waffling all about that so we're going to be uh using this one here we're going to be using his uh alabeo waco vhony so first of all okay so just you know, find the repaint that you want so go to that one click on that and then of course you want to download that one okay so we're going to download that and we uh bring that up so there we are we've downloaded that there it is okay so at the moment it's still pretty standard so we download the file then we extract it there we go cool so pretty normal yeah we've got our texture folder there so so far so far yep everything's pretty much the same now of course we're going to now go to our fsx folder So as we drill down into our FSX folder, we're going to go, yep, so there we are. It says we've got Steam Apps, common FSX, okay. Now, normally, we'd go to Sim Objects, Airplanes, and then we find the aircraft there. But, of course, this is a DLC aircraft that I've uh, purchased through Steam Edition, so I haven't actually done it through a normal sort of third-party retailer. So it doesn't actually install here. So if we go back up, we'll go back up to our main FSX directory here. So this is one of the differences between Box Edition and Steam Edition is that anything that you purchase directly through Steam gets handled in this folder here, the DLC folder. So we'll go into that folder here and then we're presented with this folder with all these numbers. Now, each of these numbers represents a piece of DLC. So for example, we'll jump into this one here. Okay, and this one we can see here, okay, Aircraft Factory, okay, it doesn't really tell us much, so we have to dig a bit deeper. Okay, oh, okay, so that's the, the Uhu, uh, or the Owl, uh, from Aircraft Factory from A2A Simulations. Okay, that's fine. Now, you could go through each and every one of these folders trying to find where the Waco is. But, there is a quicker, simpler, and easier way to do it. So, instead, if we jump into the Steam Edition page for FSX, Film there. Okay, so we're here on the main Steam Edition pad, so there you go. We can see up here in the address bar, you've got uh, store.cpower.com, app, and then this. Thing. So this is the app for F6 Steam Edition. Now, if we can scroll down through the list of DLC for this, and we find the YMF5, there it is. Cool, there we are. We'll click into that one here, and we can see that up the top here is that this has changed. So this has given us a new name here. So we've got so we've got three six four three two nine. Okay. So if we now go we'll now minimize that and we'll go here. So we're looking for three six four three two nine. And we'll scroll down here and oh wait there it is. Cool. Jump into there. Sim objects, airplanes. Ah oh, and there it is. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So there's, oh wait, now now we're looking at the more traditional file structure that we're used to from the normal the way of installing repaints. So, this is sort of like the main difference that I wanted to highlight. So what we're going to do now is we'll just uh, put that to one side, and then we'll bring you up on this side, cool. So now we do the traditional thing, so we grab our texture folder here, so we'll copy that one, we'll paste that in here, There we are, all done. Now we'll open up the README file from the download. Cool. And then we'll open up our aircraft.config file. 
So this, is, of course, is where all the information is actually stored that makes our simulation run. So in the readme file here, we've got the author's given us all the information that we need. So we highlight this section here. As I said in all, I've said in previous videos, good quality, you know, supplied repainters will always, always put this in here. Um, very rare that you don't see it. So we copy the highlight and copy all that, and then we scroll down to the next available. So we got Flight Sim 5 is the last one there. So we'll put a bit of space in there, and we'll now paste that one there. There we go. Now, of course, following the instructions, so we've got the last the last flight sim number there is 5, so we change XX to the next number in sequence, which in this case would be 6. Cool. So we can close this one here, and then we go File, we go Save, and that's pretty much it. That's it. You're done. As I said, it's, it's a minor difference, but it is fairly significant. Um, it does have some other ramifications as well, which I'll cover in another video. But let's have a look, and we'll make sure now, of course, we've got to make sure that they actually loaded in our sim. So let's jump into our FSX. Hide all that. And let's have a look. So here we are back inside FSX now, and of course there it is. It is now successfully installed, so we have it now, and we can now fly this in our simulator. So fantastic, there you go. Um, so yeah, as I said, I just wanted to cover off on that one. It is a slightly different way of doing it, of, uh, of managing uh, a repaint and delivery for something that you've purchased through FSX Steam Edition. So just something to be aware of when you are installing uh, some of the fantastic repaints that are out there for your favorite aircraft in there. So there you go. Alright folks, well thanks very much for watching uh, for this little tutorial. Don't forget as always to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these and want to see more. And as always, don't forget you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.